An all new Defenders investigation about dangerous discoveries. Tonight, our team uncovering how guns and ammunition are unexpectedly popping up around the Queen City. We have police reports that show what's happening in people's yards, at a store, even on a school bus. NBC Charlotte Defender Alex Shabbat joins us now. And Alex, some people are finding these weapons during their daily routines. That's right, you're walking outside to check the mail when all of a sudden you see a gun in the yard. Police say, don't touch that gun. But we found not everyone is doing that. Call 911, do you need police, fire, medic? I need police. Recent discoveries made around Charlotte neighborhoods. I found a gun in my backyard, it's loaded. Look like what's sometimes found during a major drug bust or at a TSA checkpoint in the airport. Is it a handgun? Yes, it's a re revolver. This caller told dispatchers she found a shotgun while checking the mail near I-485 and Mount Holly Road. It's in my front yard naked, but not in the case or anything like that. Another man describes discovering a handgun with with live rounds in his backyard near Kilbourn District Park. Somebody must have come through and threw it in there or something. In fact, we found half a dozen police reports about guns or ammo found in just a three-week period between March and April. That many uh, in that short amount of time, it's scary. And it's happening in public places too, from a loaded gun at a local gas station on the plaza near East W.T. Harris. I found a gun in the, in the restroom and I want to hand it over to the police officer. To a worker's unexpected discovery while digging a trench at an outdoor area near I-85 and North Tryon. It's got mud all over, but it's a gun. And even on a school bus. Just listen to what this bus driver told dispatchers. I just dropped off my last group in the Pineville area. And I found live ammunition on my bus. CMPD crime prevention officer Jonathan Frisk says call police and in the meantime, don't touch. Having these talks with your children, you know, about if they do find some type of weapon or gun anywhere that they don't touch it. But we found even some adults are not following that advice. Remember the man at the gas station? You picked it up and took it in your vehicle with you? Yes, ma'am. Somebody could have just used that gun or weapon in a crime. When the officers come up to you, just don't touch it, okay? Okay. The woman checking her mailbox did the same thing. You've picked it up and brought it inside? Yes, ma'am. I got two kids here, so I just really don't want it here. One thing that we would definitely ask you is to try to put on some type of latex gloves. Uh, that way you don't leave any of your prints on that gun. After all, Officer Frisk says those discoveries could potentially help police solve crimes. Fortunately, there were no reports of injuries during any of the incidents, but of course concerning for those people who made the discoveries. Alex Shabad, NBC Charlotte.